Welcome back. You know, you may have noticed Tony's been gone for the last week. That's mm -hmm. because he was overseas on a very special assignment. He was in the Principality of Monaco on the French Riviera covering the all-electric Formula E Grand Prix race before it comes to Portland next month. And this morning, we have a behind-the-scenes preview of the Gridwalk Parade. All right, we are on the grid for the all-electric Formula E Monaco E Prix. It starts in like about 15 minutes, and this grid is uh, a madhouse. Very chaotic scene there. There's Jake, the new mate. Uh, yeah, so uh, a lot of people here. Everybody who is anybody in Formula E is here. Uh, some former Formula One drivers are here checking out Formula E as we wind our way down. The, this. Nico Rosberg there in the uh, gray slacks and the dark jacket, uh, Formula Formula One champion there, chatting with some buddies. Uh, as you know, uh, Formula E, the only all-electric race series uh, in the world, single-seaters, open-wheel uh, championship. There are 16 rounds. This is the ninth round. There'll be two races in Jakarta coming up after this, and then round 12, Portland, Oregon, June 24th. The only U.S. appearance of the Formula E cars uh, this year is going to be in our hometown, Portland, Oregon. So if you haven't made plans yet to check it out, I definitely would do that. Uh, it's going to be a great event, I think, for the city. Uh, and for anybody who's just interested in either technology or racing or whatever it happens to be, it's just going to be a really uh, one-of-a-kind event. We're really kind of lucky to have it coming our way. So uh, check it out if you can. The race starts. Hello, Ebony. <laughs> Ebony's from Jakarta. She's a journalist from Jakarta. You having a good time? Uh, good time, really. It's Overwhelming, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the clothes alone are fabulous. Yes. Very excited. Okay. Good to see you. Okay. All right. Yeah. Me too, Mom. All right. So yeah, the race will start any moment now. So we're gonna kind of get out of here. But um, this is what it's like to be on the grid in Monaco. Uh, just uh, chaos. <laughs> chaos as far as the eye can see. Uh, but it's going to get even wilder in just a moment when the race gets underway. So, yeah, check it out. More coming up from Monaco. Guys, we'll talk to you soon. Gives me goosebumps. I know. <laughs> so fun. It was so fun to have him there. Yeah. It was so fun. Mm -hmm. We got him live in some of our later mm -hmm. hours of Good Day Oregon, and there was a lot of conversation about that Monaco chic. Like, oh, everybody very yes. well dressed. Yeah. And That's it's so. sort of required. I would not fit in. <laughs> yeah. Way too cash. Right. Specifically, no ripped denim, they right. said. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if we'd big get invited on the yacht, especially. Yeah, exactly. Right. Nope. I'm just so excited like, for him and for all the racing fans. I'm sorry. What? I was going to say, I felt like we were there, though, going yeah, through the crowd. Absolutely. Yeah. You know? Great. So, so fun. Loved it. Yeah. yeah. Really cool. Mm -hmm.